pass or fail. There's the edge of the gas range up against the wall. Any of you on screen, pass or fail. And you better be able to tell me why. So TJ Silva saying fail. He has a, like a major like pointing thumbs down. I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but I do know that there's a clearance above the top of the range from left to right. Yeah, on both sides of the range, you're absolutely right. There is actually on every single solitary gas range a tag that is permanently, I mean permanently affixed to the appliance where it says if you're putting in a gas range, you can't be up against the wall, particularly in the case above the top surface of the counter. Like if there was a cabinet down here, that's fine. But above the surface, the cooking surface, there needs to be a space. Fail, see you later, buy, reinspection fee. Because you put a pot on there, shoots the flame over to the wall. There is no UL application, underwriters laboratory application, like you're seeing here. I'll just put metal on the wall. No, you can't. You just can't do it. I can't tell you how many cases I've investigated. I'll tell you one. Plumber puts the stove in wrong, doesn't pull a permit. It's Thanksgiving morning. I get a call from the fire department that a person has just been burned 90% of their body. We need you to come down here right away. Thanksgiving morning. If any of you have ever walked into a situation where somebody got burned, maybe you've burned yourself once in a while a little bit. Think about it when, what it smells like and what it looks like when somebody's burned 90% of their body because the stove wasn't installed properly and the person didn't pull a permit. The homeowner puts the pot on the stove. It has a little bit of a delayed ignition because there's not enough air to get in there. And if you didn't know, you're never, ever, ever supposed to put a pot on a stove and then turn the burner on. You're supposed to turn the burner on first and then put the pot down. Not all came out in court two, three years later. But to make a long story short, did that person live? I don't know whether to say fortunately or unfortunately. But unfortunately, knowing what he went through, yes, he lived 90% of his body from the neck all the way down. It was pretty horrific. Anyway, if you didn't know any of that, please never, ever, ever install a gas stove right up against the wall above the cooking surface. I can put a cabinet beside it below the cooking surface, but above the cooking surface, Every single solitary gas stove you install has a permanently installed tag. Not as a label that's riveted on. It's actually on a chain on most of them. And it's on the back. Some of them you can reach right over the top and grab it and read what the clearance is left and right above the cooking surface. It's usually a minimum of three inches. <laughs> <laughs>